Every era has a technology so fundamental that nearly everything depends on it. In the industrial age, it was steel. In the electrical age, it was the power grid. Today, in the digital age, it isn't a device, a platform, or even artificial intelligence itself. It is a machine, a machine built by one company in the Netherlands, a company most people have never heard of. Yet it quietly shapes the entire technological world. Without it, advanced chips cannot exist. And without those chips, modern civilization would slow to a crawl. This is the story of ASML, the only company capable of building the extreme ultraviolet lithography machines that create the world's most advanced semiconductors. Chapter 1. The Invisible Foundation of Modern Technology In Veldhoven, a quiet Dutch town far removed from Silicon Valley or Shenzhen, thousands of engineers arrive to work in buildings that appear almost ordinary. Inside, however, they perform one of the most complex tasks in industrial history, enabling chipmakers to print circuits at scales far smaller than a strand of DNA. Their mission is direct but unbelievably difficult. Shrink the transistor. Microchips function because billions of these microscopic switches can open and close billions of times per second. The smaller they become, the more power they deliver. But shrinking them is not a matter of carving. It's a matter of bending physics to human will. This is where lithography comes in, using precise light to pattern silicon. And no company on earth has pushed lithography further than ASML. Its machines sit at the bottleneck of technological progress. When ASML advances, the world advances. When it slows, the world slows with it. Chapter two, EUV, harnessing a light nature never intended us to use. To understand ASML's importance, we need to understand EUV. Extreme ultraviolet light, a wavelength the natural world never expected humans to control. EUV light does not reach Earth's surface. It cannot be guided by lenses. It is absorbed by air itself. To use it, engineers must create a vacuum as pristine as deep space. Inside an EUV system, a remarkable process takes place. Tiny droplets of molten tin, each only 30 microns wide, are fired through a vacuum chamber at high speed. A powerful laser, refined over more than a decade of experimentation, hits each droplet twice. The first pulse reshaping it, the second blasting it into a plasma hotter than the surface of the sun. For a fraction of a microsecond, that plasma emits EUV light at a wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, small enough to etch the world's most advanced circuits. Producing this plasma used to be considered impossible. Early prototypes generated too little EUV, created debris that damaged optics or destabilized after a few pulses. Engineers spent years refining droplet timing, laser precision, and debris control until the system became stable enough to run continuously inside a commercial fab. The EUV light then bounces across a series of specially engineered mirrors because no material can transmit it. Every mirror must be flawless at a level beyond imagination, reflecting the light with extreme precision before it reaches the silicon wafer. The entire sequence repeats thousands of times per second. Each pulse pushes the limits of physics and each pulse moves the world forward. Chapter three, the $200 million machine. An EUV system is larger than some houses and more complex than any spacecraft ever built. It weighs more than 180 tons. It ships in hundreds of crates. It takes months to assemble and weeks to calibrate. Inside, the environment is controlled so precisely that a single vibration, even a footstep in the wrong place, can disrupt the alignment of the mirrors. The vacuum chamber is cleaner than the inside of the International Space Station. The stages that move the silicon wafer accelerate faster than a sports car while maintaining atomic level precision. The temperature must remain stable to within thousandths of a degree. Building one machine requires an ecosystem of thousands of companies, each producing components that cannot be found anywhere else. No part is interchangeable. No process is routine. This is why each unit costs between $150 million and $200 million. Chipmakers do not buy these machines casually. They buy them because without them, the next generation of technology cannot exist. Chapter four, why no one can compete with ASML. ASML's dominance is not protected by patents or marketing. It is protected by something far more formidable, irreducible complexity. EUV lithography is not a single innovation. It is a tower built from thousands of breakthroughs. In optics, plasma physics, materials science, control engineering, and quantum behavior, 
Remove one pillar and the entire structure collapses. That is why Nikon and Canon abandoned their EUV attempts. That is why China's semiconductor efforts remain years behind. That is why no competitor has emerged, despite the stakes. Even if a company had unlimited funding, it would need more than money. It would need ASML's network of suppliers, ASML's years of trial and error, ASML's scientific culture, and ASML's institutional memory, the hard-earned knowledge of thousands of failures that no outsider can replicate. This is not a monopoly by force. It is a monopoly by physics. Chapter 5. Zeiss. The optics that redefined what is possible. At the center of every EUV system are mirrors built by Zeiss, the German optics company that has spent decades perfecting technologies no other organization has mastered. These mirrors are not reflective surfaces in the normal sense. They are multi-layer structures made from alternating sheets of molybdenum and silicon, each one deposited with atomic scale accuracy. Creating a single mirror can take months of layering, polishing, measurement, and calibration. If one of these mirrors were scaled to the width of Germany, its tallest imperfection would be smaller than a millimeter. For EUV, nothing less would work. The partnership between ASML and Zeiss represents one of the most technically demanding collaborations in modern industry. EUV would not exist without it. Chapter 6. The Global Supply Chain That Cannot Be Rebuilt Beyond Zeiss, ASML's machines depend on thousands of specialized companies. In California, engineers developed the plasma-generating light source. In Germany, industrial laser specialists spent years refining the system that fires at each tin droplet. Across Europe and Asia, dozens of firms produce ultra-precise stages, measurement systems, rare materials, coatings, and vacuum assemblies. But these companies aren't just suppliers. They are pillars of a singular ecosystem, an ecosystem that matured alongside EUV for more than two decades. Rebuilding it from scratch would require enormous capital and far more time than the semiconductor industry allows. The world cannot wait 20 years for a second EUV ecosystem. And so, ASML remains irreplaceable. Chapter 7. When Technology Becomes Geopolitics For years, ASML existed quietly in the background of global technology. That changed when EUV became central to national power. Advanced chips influence everything from economic growth to artificial intelligence, missile guidance, secure communications, clean energy, and advanced computing. The country that leads in chip making gains enormous strategic leverage. The United States, concerned about China's accelerating semiconductor ambitions, began pressuring the Dutch government in 2018 to restrict ASML's EUV exports. After years of negotiations, the Netherlands agreed. ASML is now barred from selling its most advanced systems to China. The impact was immediate. China can still produce chips, but only at older technology nodes. EUV level manufacturing remains out of reach. This decision reshaped the global semiconductor map. ASML found itself at the center of foreign policy, not by choice, but by necessity. The world realized that one company's machines determined the pace of technological competition. Chapter 8. ASML and the Global Chip Pipeline In Taiwan, TSMC runs the most advanced chip fabs in the world. Each cutting-edge phone, graphics card, and AI accelerator begins through ASML machines on those production lines. In South Korea, Samsung uses EUV systems to produce memory and logic chips for millions of devices. In the United States, Intel has repositioned its entire manufacturing roadmap around EUV and the machines that will follow it. Every nation and every company capable of producing state-of-the-art chips depends on ASML. There is no alternative source, not in Japan, not in China, not in the United States. Without EUV, the industry would freeze at the seven nanometer generation. AI growth would slow. Data centers would face limits. Battery technology, autonomous systems, quantum research, all would feel the impact. ASML does not merely participate in the supply chain, it defines its upper limits. Chapter 9. Heine EUV, the next leap forward. Even as the world continues to adopt EUV, ASML is preparing the next revolution. Heine EUV. Heine uses a new optical geometry, redesigned mirrors, and a larger numerical aperture to print features even smaller than today's most advanced chips. The machines are not just scaled up versions of EUV, they are re-engineered from the ground up. 
The silicon wafer stage must move several times faster while maintaining stability down to the atomic scale. The mirrors must handle tighter tolerances and more demanding angles. The laser system must deliver greater consistency without degrading components. Heine will open the door to manufacturing chips beyond the 2 nanometer generation. Chips that will power the next decade of artificial intelligence, advanced robotics, biotechnology, and scientific computing. Once again, the world will be limited only by how fast ASML can build machines that push physics further. ASML's machines never appear in the devices we use, but they shape every technology we rely on. They sit behind phones, data centers, electric cars, aircraft, medical equipment, and artificial intelligence systems. They are the quiet infrastructure of the digital world, tools that determine how far computing can go. In Veldhoven, engineers continue refining the machines that make modern life possible. Not through hype or headlines, but through precision, patience, and an understanding that the smallest details can change the course of technology. This is ASML, the company behind the chips, the engine of modern innovation, and the foundation upon which the digital future is being built. They operate in silence, yet their influence echoes in every screen and every sensor. Each mirror, each laser pulse, each droplet of tin is a testament to human ingenuity. The machines are monuments to engineering, measured in microns yet shaping continents. Every innovation inside ASML begins with a question, how small can we go? And then the answer is found in patience, repetition, and relentless refinement. The world sees smartphones and cars, but ASML sees light and atoms dancing in perfect timing. They are the architects of possibility, the unseen hands behind every advancement. A single pulse of EUV light can redefine the limits of computation. Thousands of engineers collaborate, their expertise spanning physics, optics, and material science. No detail is too small, no obstacle too great, no challenge too complex. The company moves forward, not chasing applause, but advancing what machines and humans can achieve. Innovation here is quiet, meticulous, and exacting, yet its impact is colossal. From Veldhoven to fabs around the globe, ASML's technology enables progress we can barely imagine. Every chip etched, every circuit perfected, is a step toward a future previously thought impossible. This is ASML, the silent pulse of progress, shaping a digital world that never stops evolving.